Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Warren Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And like I said, I'm trying to traverse the whole of the Easter uh, program. I mean, everything in Easter as much as I can uh, within 18 steps, you know, for 18 days. And I'm looking at uh, the concept of Easter. I'm looking at his, his, his passion, his trial, his crucifixion, and then his resurrection. I'm looking at it in a, it's a very, very powerful thing for me. Are you aware that Easter is not just an event, but it's a principal field event? And here is uh, one of the principles of, event, uh, of, of, of Easter. Do you remember when uh, Jesus was going to Jerusalem and then uh, he, he got to a place and told his disciples, go to this person's house and there is a donkey that is tied by a tree. Untie that donkey and if anybody should ask you what is what is it? Uh, what are you doing? He said, the master has need of him. This morning's message for me is called Untie That Donkey. And for me, that's, that's one of the uh, principal things. Now, guess what? Now, the Bible says there was a donkey that was tied to a tree. And then Jesus says, I have, the master has need of him. So, so untie that donkey. And interestingly, very, very interestingly, you know, the Bible says a donkey upon which no man has sat. Anytime the Bible talks about donkeys, it talks about rebellion. In actual fact, uh, if you read in Numbers chapter 22 to Numbers chapter 24, you see the story of Balaam. I mean, uh, his donkey was a rebellious donkey. Not only that too, but in the days of Elisha, people were eating. That was a days of rebellion. So there was a famine in the land. Uh, God brought a punishment upon uh, the, the Israel. And that famine, the people were eating uh, donkey's head and dove's dung. So you can say rebellion, the food of rebellion, donkey's head. And that's, that's I mean, that's what is... Very interesting. Now the Bible says no man has sat on that donkey. Then all of a sudden Jesus said, go and find that donkey, untie that donkey. Now something is very interesting over here. Number one, the donkey was tied up. And number two, that means the donkey has very, very, very limited space within which to go. He, has, he only can go round and round and round and round. Now, circular motion is wilderness motion. The people of Israel were going around the same mountain for all the time, for 40 years. So circular motion is, is, is wilderness motion. And that is, that is not a good thing. And that's exactly what, so the donkey can only go round and round and round. So when Jesus came and he said, untie that donkey, it means he, the, 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 the circular motion, the wilderness motion must be terminated. That, that motion of uncertainty, that motion of this thing, Christ came so that that motion of uncertainty in our lives will be terminated. And the Bible says no man has sat on it before. And that means no lordship over that donkey. No lordship. But Jesus said, I want to sit on it. So it's very simple. God wants to terminate your circular motion. God wants to just cut off your uh, wilderness motion. That is your motion of uncertainty. Well, you're going round and round and round and round in circles. God wants to terminate it. Just like he said to the Israelites, how long will you compass this mountain? You know, turn this way, and then they will get into the promised land. God wants to take you to another place, in another dimension. And it begins by first terminating, untie that donkey. So anything that bounds and anything that holds you captive, and anything that holds you as a, as a prisoner, Jesus came so that the bonds will be broken. And that's what he said, untie that donkey. So in the same way, in the name of Jesus, I speak to you wherever you are, that let the whatever holds you, whatever holds you captive, and whatever keeps you in the same constant motion, be broken in the name of Jesus. That is why we have Easter. That is why we have the death and the resurrection of Jesus. So in the name of Jesus, be loosed. And then here goes in further. He says, I want to sit on it. And when he sat on it, it changed the dynamics or the narrative of that donkey. From being tied up, now people are throwing cloth around and people are saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. See, when Jesus becomes your Lord, when Jesus rules over your affairs, when Jesus, uh, there are certain benefits that you get, just like the donkey. People were throwing donkey, people were throwing their kente, their gilly, their silk, their lace, their whatever, throwing it on the floor. Wow. Donkey? All because 
Jesus is the head. All because Jesus is, is in command. All because Jesus is riding upon its back. See, when we magnify him, when we lift him up, he has power to draw men all to himself. And guess what? He gets the praise, we get the blessing. He gets the glory, we get the blessing. So donkey, ordinary donkey, walking on the lace, the silk, the kente, and all the nice clothing of people. Why? Because he's got royal cargo. Allow Jesus to be Lord, not just over one area of your life, but allow Jesus to be Lord in every area. And you'll be very surprised. So, this morning, untie that donkey. See you later.